Eric Burleson from Missouri and Tim Burchett from Tennessee. They've attended congressional UFO briefings and are putting a biblical spin on what they're referring to as extra dimensional beings. This is what Tim Burchett says. UFOs were in the Bible. All right, read Ezekiel. This is the only choice that he's had. He painted himself into such a corner. The only choice he has is to project it into the Bible. Are we going to blow past the fact that he wears glasses with the string behind it? <laughs> We're not going to mention that? He's intense. Those are reading glasses. <laughs> That's staying on his face. The Bible's print <laughs> is mighty small. And then Burleson, he added after his most recent UFO briefing that they may not exactly fit the biblical narrative, but whenever I'm using the term angels, to me... It's synonymous with an extra dimensional being. Okay, here's the deal. Organized religion is going to have a tough time with extraterrestrials. There's just no two ways about it, right? So the fact that these guys are saying this publicly means that they saw something or heard something. These guys are, <laughs> are such a canary in a coal mine that there's big news not being told to us. The second guy definitely heard something, Pat, and he's got ears that could keep the glasses on. <laughs> oh, yeah. They'd never come off. His curiosity into the UAP phenomenon is as big as his ears. We're talking about Eric Burleson here. And basically, Burleson is not cool with the idea of aliens from outer space and no matter what he's told in any of these briefings he comes to one final conclusion and that's in my opinion i think it's either angels or it's man-made also i've always had a mistrust of the government and despite believing that it's only angels or total baloney burleson is working tirelessly to get more information alongside others like Nancy Mace. <laughs> Eric Burleson will not rest until the location of the space angels is revealed. Look at that Look guy. at his ears and eyes. Yeah. Look at this guy. Yeah, if they remake Lord of the Rings, he's got to be in the lead for Gollum. No makeup needed, just paint. <laughs> he looks like a whore's regular. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he's fed up, though, to the fucking government trying to cover up alien Jesus, like always. Anyways, are you guys with Burleson and Burchett that UFOs are angels or drones, but that Definitely not aliens? No. No, but I'm glad it answered the big question for me. What are Christians going to do once aliens are revealed? And now we have the answer. They're going to say it was part of the plan. If they have wings, why would they need spacecraft? They're extra dimensional beings. Okay. I'm just going to say they're not angels. Well, do you know about the theory that Jesus might have been an alien? That theory I like for Christianity, though. He's basically saying it. Watch your fucking mouth, Pat. No, I'm saying that would be fucking dope if it turns out that Jesus That's the was theory an alien. these guys are kicking around. What you think of, what people think of as aliens from another planet is actually just from another plane, extra dimensional.